Oh wow. Yeah, this is it. This is, this is, if you're gonna take any recipe from this video, this is the recipe you have to, have to try. That's right. <laughs> I finally got a new robe and <laughs> did I order this offline? No, I think I stole this from my great, great, great grandmother. But nonetheless, a new robe has arrived in my kitchen and that means it is time for yet another cooking video. So welcome back to Joey's Anabolic Kitchen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video where we are talking about one of my favorite cooking utensils of all time and that is the air fryer. That's right, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you some of my favorite low calorie, quick, easy air fryer meals that I use on my diet to help me lose weight while gaining muscle and staying strong. So with that being said, it's gonna be an incredible video and because it's gonna be an incredible video, can you do me an incredible favor and press that like button down below? The like button does help this channel grow. It helps the video get out to more people and it lets me know that you're enjoying my content. So thank you for that. And if you're new to the channel, can you become a subscriber? Can you sub to the channel? Be part of this family, grow with me so we can grow together. <sighs> All right, I got the nitty gritty stuff out of the way, right out of the bat. Now let's get into my favorite part, which is actually getting these recipes started. So for our first recipe, I thought what better way to start the day than with a nice egg quiche bowl extravaganza majig. <sighs> I didn't really come up with the name, but it's a really delicious dish that I have quite often and it's very easy to make. I like making it at night and then I have it ready to go in the morning. I throw it in the microwave for just a minute or so and it's ready to eat. And just like a lot of dishes I'm gonna show you today, these are very customizable. So if you don't like some of the things I put in there, feel free to change it up. But the way I like to do it is the way I like to do it. And for me, it works really well, keeping high volume and low calorie options always available to me. So without further ado, let's start making this thing. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do though is preheat your air fryer. Now, when it comes to air fryers, every air fryer is gonna be a little different. If you wanna get my exact air fryer, I'll have it linked down below for you. It's just one off of Amazon. I think it was like right around 100 bucks. I've been using it for probably like three years now. Never had any issues with it. Love it, use it almost every single day. And I highly recommend it. But for this recipe, you're gonna to wanna to preheat your air fryer for about five minutes while you put everything together in your bowl. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to start with a microwave safe bowl and start adding all your ingredients. I started with one large egg here and then proceeded to add my egg whites. We did about 200 grams, cracked pepper and a little bit of salt. And then I added my turkey. I like kind of airing it up like this. It adds volume. Oh, and most important part, do not forget to feed your sweet little loved ones and make sure the food's not toxic. I think we're good. Got some banana peppers in here for some added flavor. Give everything a quick stir, get the egg and everything mixed up. And I like to sprinkle a little cheese on top. You can put some inside as well before you mix. And this is what it should look like when you are finished. Next step is to simply put it in the air fryer and you're gonna wanna bake it on 380 for 15 minutes. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what you will be left with. Crispy, delicious, voluminous, Okay, now, when you are taking this thing out of here, be very, very careful because it is scorching, scorching hot. Okay, so I'm trying absolutely everything to not burn my hands off right now. But look at this voluminous bowl of food. You have that beautiful crusted mozzarella cheese on top, the fluffy egg in there, as well as that turkey and those peppers adding a good flavor and a little extra protein. I mean, this is just beautiful. But what may be even more beautiful is when you pop into the macros on this bad boy right here. I mean, you talk about fertilizer, I might as well take that bowl and sprinkle it in my yard. That is some miracle grow right there. Only 317 calories in that entire voluminous bowl of breakfast. And when you pop in, I mean, this is just a, 50 grams of protein, only eight carb and six fat in that right there. Personally, if I was to have this, I'd probably have it with a little bit of turkey bacon and maybe one of those thin everything bagels. And that right there is a perfectly balanced breakfast for building muscle, losing weight, staying on track, and enjoying your diet along the way. So there you go. There's our first recipe for you. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you go out and try it. So I'm gonna go back over to my great, great grandmother's house drop off my apron and see you guys in the next meal. All right, welcome back. Now this next recipe, well, I think it might literally blow your mind. One, because of how amazing it's gonna look. Two, how amazing and crispy it's going to taste. 
and three, because of just how low calorie and high volume this recipe is. So without further ado, let me show you my French fry home fries. The number one ingredient, well, I guess kind of the only ingredient, are the potatoes of choice. Now these potatoes right here, they're the honey gold organic baby potatoes. This entire bag of potatoes only has a little over 400 calories in it. And I physically do not think you could eat the entire bag of potatoes if you make them the way I do. So without further ado, let's get straight into showing you exactly how I prepare these. And the first step, like the previous recipes and probably all the recipes going forward, you wanna preheat your air fryer. After that, it's very easy. All you gotta do is put your potatoes in the bowl. I actually like to chop them in fourths here. That gets the most crispiness. And then you put them in the air fryer. You're gonna to wanna to spray them down with a little bit of oil. I used avocado oil and then season them how you like. I used some garlic powder, some Tony Cacheros, which is like a Creole dark seasoning, and give them a good shake and throw them in. You wanna do 380 for 15 minutes to start. About eight to 10 minutes in, you're gonna to wanna to shake them real good and then crank them up to 400 for the last five minutes. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the crispiness you are left with. Oh my, oh my. Can you see this right here? Can you taste it? No, you can't until you make it for yourself. Look at the crispiness on there. Let's see if I can get an ASMR taste test for you. Ow, oh, oh my God, so hot. Ow, oh. ow, 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 ow. Okay, hot, yes. Delicious, absolutely. Absolutely. These are extremely crispy, extremely tasty, and so low calorie. This entire bowl, the size of my head, is full of potatoes. And for, like I said, just about 400 calories. You really cannot go wrong with this recipe right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And let's get straight on to the next one, which happens to be what I'm going to have with this meal. And it's very, very simple. And it's really any meat, but I'm doing some mahi and some salmon tonight. I've actually shown this on the channel before. But very simply, you season your fish however you like. Uh, I did nothing but the bagel seasoning, which is absolutely incredible on fish. I don't even know why it tastes so good, but it's the best thing I've ever had. And all you have to do is put the fish in the air fryer, bake for about eight to 10 minutes on 380. All right, and here is what you're left with. Actually, after 12 minutes, I left it in for an extra two minutes just to make sure the mahi was cooked. But oh boy, look at all that crispiness. Those, you get those good fats from the salmon. And the way that everything but the bagel seasoning just crisp up is unmatched. And tonight, what better way to celebrate my air fryer than to eat stuff from my air fryer? So I'm gonna be having some mahi and some of the potatoes tonight. And I'll be seeing y'all in the next recipe. Oh, we are back. I got the apron back from Grandma Suggs and I'm ready to start cooking up some anabolic food. And boy, this recipe right here, you are going to fall in love with just like I have. I wish I had a fat, thick mustache right now and some burly chest hair just outgrowing from this apron because tonight we're gonna be making an amazing anabolic low calorie, super crispy, tasty, homemade pizza. So without further ado, this one has a lot more ingredients, but like everything else in this video and in these recipes, you can customize it exactly how you like it. But let me show you what I have in front of me. So you're gonna need a sheet of baking tin foil. You're gonna need your carb counter low calorie tortillas. These only have 45 calories. You're gonna need some sort of low calorie pizza or pasta sauce. I like putting some buffalo sauce with mine as well. And then you're gonna need your meats. I'm going with some grilled chicken, some roasted turkey breast, and some turkey pepperoni. You're gonna need some sort of fat-free cheese. I'm going with some fat-free mozzarella. And then any kind of veggies at the top. I like my banana peppers and some baby spinach. So I'm gonna go ahead, get my air fryer preheated. I'm gonna preheat it to 400, and then I'm gonna start getting everything together for my pizza. Oh, I'm so excited for dinner tonight. This recipe is unreal. Let's get started. Okay, first step, you're gonna to wanna to use some kind of spray and spray down your tin foil. Then start with your 45 calorie tortilla and add your sauce. I'm doing, like I said, some low calorie pizza sauce and then adding a little bit of buffalo on top. Mm -hmm. You're then gonna wanna use the back of the spoon and do a nice even spread all the way around the pizza. Getting the sauce to all the edges and getting that flavor everywhere. Next step, you wanna add a little base layer of cheese, and then you can start layering on your meats. So I started with the turkey here, 
and then moved on to some amazing tasting turkey pepperoni and finish off with some chicken strips from Costco. These things are an absolute game changer for meal prep. After you're done with the meats, move on to the veg. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna do a little bit of spinach, break it up, sprinkle it on, and then add some banana peppers. I like breaking mine up as well. Just makes it a little easier to consume and spreads the flavor out. And the last step before you put it in, Top it off with a little more cheese, makes everything hold together nicely and adds a little more protein and a little more flavor. So you're gonna want to put the entire sheet into the air fryer and bake at 400 for right around eight minutes. And this, ladies and gentlemen, oh boy, is what you are left with. Oh, I can't think of a better dinner. Okay, whatever you're doing right now, stop it. Put your hands down and look at me. Go home and make this recipe right now. This is insane. The aroma in here is amazing. And look at this pizza. Okay, now as you may think, this pizza looks absolutely incredible and it does. The crispiness on the edges, like, you hear that? Mmm. Okay, now what's actually insane about this pizza is when you look at the macros of this thing. For this entire pizza, we're looking at 261 calories with 40 grams of protein. That's insane. Honestly, I don't have enough calories tonight because I've eaten a lot throughout the day, but if I did, I would easily have two of these for right around 500 calories and be so, so full. Oh, this is one of my absolute favorite, favorite recipes and the air fryer cooks this perfectly and so, so quickly. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of the Bolt House Cucumber Ranch on there, and it's gonna be an absolutely incredible dinner. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is it. This is, this is, if you're gonna take any recipe from this video, this is the recipe you have to, have to try. Okay, now I put a little ranch on here, the Bolt House, 30 calories per two tablespoons of this ranch. Of course you're gonna eat that. Now, I feel like I'd be doing you a disservice if I did not, give you one bite on camera before I go. So here is that bite. <laughs> oh man. Mm. Dude, oh. I could shed a tear, this tastes so good. Oh wow. Oh, is this how Gordon Ramsay feels? Whoa. Oh, I gotta say that when the cheese gets real, real crunchy like this and the spinach gets real crunchy and you get the little bit of softness from the tortilla still and that nice meaty meat <laughs> that's just well it's meat <laughs> nothing nothing compared to this all right i gotta go enjoy this like literally right now and i'll see you guys in the next recipe so unfortunately that is sadly going to be the last recipe for today's video but the good news is that's the last recipe because i have so many more recipes to be given to you guys for air fryers that I decided to break this video up into two videos so that you don't get one 45 minute video and everyone clicks off of it. So with that being said, I'm gonna wrap up today's video here, but if you're not subscribed to the channel and you don't have your bell on, you gotta do it now because when this next video drops, you're gonna wanna be here for it to see the rest of these amazing recipes. If you guys enjoyed everything in this video, if you did find anything helpful, please press that like button. If you're new to the channel, become a subscriber. I'm happy to have you here. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Peace.